Well, good afternoon, everybody. It's uh, Sunday, September 23rd, 2018, and uh, we're here to do some Bible study today. So go ahead and get yourself together, get something to drink, grab your Bible, and we'll get going here on our Bible study, all right? We are in First Chronicles chapter 3 is where we'll be starting, okay? So go ahead and get ready. Um, boy, gang, there's some prophecy going on. There's some serious prophecy going on. Syria is a mess, absolutely a disaster. Oh, we're so close to seeing the destruction of Damascus. It's not even, it, it, it's just insane. Um, let's see here. Y'all know about the Russian plane getting shot down and the F F-16s coming from Israel to bomb um, weapons depots inside Syria. All right. Well, that set off a cascade of events. And Russia blames Israel for getting too close to their aircraft and those missiles guiding in on their aircraft instead of the F-16s. All right. Even though publicly everybody's saying, oh, it's a mistake. It could happen anywhere. Da, 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 da. Russia's holding them accountable. So yesterday there was a couple of F F-16s from Israel that were flying over Lebanon. And as they entered Lebanese airspace, Russian S-37, SU-37s intercepted them and turned them back. This is going to get hairy. This is going to get real hairy. And, of course, we've got Syria, the Syrian army, fighting with Turkey in Aleppo. And I've got all these stories. They're right down in my liked videos if you're on YouTube. Um, they're in my liked videos. Just look them up. There's all kinds of news. If you can't find it in my liked videos, the best place to find any kind of good, uh, accurate news is is uh, Stephen Benoon on Israeli News Live. He's got pretty good connects in Europe, and uh, he's getting some news out. Nobody else is touching it. Nobody else is hardly touching it. Bagley, uh, Pastor Bagley, he, he's got some information on it too. Um, probably similar sources to what Stephen Benoon has. Um, Maybe some other inside sources, but that's the only place you're going to get any news because there isn't any. Nobody's talking about it, and there's all kinds of things going on. Also, we're going to go ahead with our prepping for judgment series. Um, I didn't get to do anything on Friday. I had my grandson, and when I got my grandson, I ain't getting anything else done. So um, after this video posts, I'll probably be working on that video next. Okay, it'll be part three in our series. So, anyway, go ahead and grab your Bible. Let me get this cord out of the way. And keep fighting with this thing. Okay, grab our Bibles. If you're not ready yet, just go ahead and stop the video. And catch up with us when you get a chance. We'll be here. All right? All right, gang. <coughs> First Chronicles chapter 3. Okay? Here we go. Now these were the sons of David, which were born unto him in Hebron. The first Ammon of Ahino, Ahinomam, the Jesulite, Jesulitis. The second, Daniel of Abigail, the Carmelitus. The third, Absalom, the son of Ma'akah, the daughter of Talmea, king of Jeshur. The fourth, Adonijah, the son of Haggith. The fifth, Shepha, Shephatiah of Abti, Abital. The sixth, Ithram, Ithram by Eglah, his wife. These six were born unto him in Hebron, and there he, re he reigned seven years and six months, and in Jerusalem he reigned thir thirty and three years. And these were born unto him in Jerusalem, Shia, Shema, Shimei, sorry, 
and Shobab, and Nathan, and Solomon, four of Bathsheba, the daughter of Amiel. Ebhar also, and Eshliama, and El Eliphelet, and Noagah, and Negfug, and Japia, and Elishama, and Eli Eliada, and Eliaphelet, nine. These were all the sons of David, beside the sons of the concubines, and Tamah, their sister. And Solomon's son was Rehoboam, Abia, his son, Asa, his son, Jehoshaphat, his son, Joram, his son, Ahiazah, his son, Joash, his son, Amiazah, his son, Azariah, his son, Jotham, his son, Ahaz, his son, Hezekiah, his son, Manasseh, his son, Ammon, his son, Josiah, his son, and the sons of Josiah were the firstborn, Jonah, Joanan, the second, Jehoiakim, the third, Zedekiah, the fourth, Shalom, Shalom. And the sons of Jehoiakim, Jeconiah, his son, Zedekiah, his son. And the sons of Jeconiah, Ashur, Salah, Salathiel, his son, Malkiram also, and Pediah, and Shenizar, Jachmia, Hoshama, and Nebuchadnezzar. And the sons of Pediah were Zerubbabel and Shemia. And the sons of Zerubbabel, Meshulam, and Hananiah, and Shelomith, their sister, and Hashuba, and Ohel, and Bereshia, and Hazadia, Jushab, Jushab, he said, five. And the sons of Haniah, Pelathiah, and Jezuiah, the sons of Rephiah, the sons of Arnon, the sons of Obadiah, the sons of Shechaniah, and the sons of Shechaniah, Shemaiah, and the sons of Shemaiah, Hattush, and Igeel, and Barea, and Neriah, and Shaphat, six. And the sons of Neriah, Eloaniah, and Hezekiah, and Azariacham, three. And the sons of Eloaniah were Hodiah, and Eliashub, and Peliah, and Akub, and Johanan, and Deliah, and Aniah, seven. Wow. Chapter four. The sons of Judah. Pharez, Hezron, Carmi, and Hur, and Shubal. And Reiah, the son of Shubal, begat Jehoth, and Jehoth begat Ahumiah and Leahad. These are the families of the Zarathites. And these were of the father of Etam, Jezreel, and Ishma, and Idbash, and the name of their sister was Haz Poni, and Punel El, the father of Gidor, and Ezer, the father of Husha, these are the sons of Hur, the firstborn of Ephrata, the father of Bethlehem, and Ashur, the father of Tekoa had two wives, Helah and Narah, and Narah bare him 
Ahuzam, and Hefer, and Temani, and Hahash, Hahar, Hash Tari. These were the sons of Naarai. And the sons of Hela were Zareth, Jezera, Jezor, sorry, and Ethnam. And Kaz begot Anub, and Zobe, Zobeba, and the families of Aharhel, the son of Aharam. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren, and his mother called him, called his name Jabez, saying, Because I bear him with sorrow. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, O oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed, and enlarge my coast, that thine hand might be with me, and that thou wouldest keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested. And Shelob, Shelub, the brother of Shuma, begot Meher, which was the father of Eshton. And Eshton begot Berapha and Fasaha, and Tehenia, the father of Iranasha, Hash, Iranahash. These are the men of Rekah. And the sons of Kenaz, Othernil, and Seriah, and the sons of Othernil, Hathoth, and Meonothai Mi begot Ophrah, and Seriah begot Joab, the father of the valley of Charashum. For they were craftsmen. And the sons of Caleb, in the son of Jehufana, Jephune, sorry, Iru, Elah, and Naam, and the sons of Elah, even Kenaz. And the sons of Jehalelal, Zaph, Zephah, Turiah, and Asareel, and the sons of Ezra, were Jethro, Mered, and Ephur, and Jelan, and she bare Miriam, and Shemaiah, and Ishba, the father of Eshtemoa. And his wife, Jehadiajah, bare Jered, the father of Jerdor, and Heber, the father of Soko, and Jekuath, Jekuathel, the father of Zanoah, and these are the sons of Bithiah, the daughter of Pharaoh, which Mered took. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and the sons of his wife, Hodiah, the sister of Naham, the father of Keliah, the Garmite, and Eshtaloma, the Mac. Machathite, and the sons of Shimon were Ammon, and Rina, Behanan, and Tilon, and the sons of Eshai were Zoheth, and Ben Zoheth. The sons of Shelah, the sons of Judah, were Ur, the father of Lakah, and Lada, Laada, the father of Mareshash, Maresha, and the families of the house of them that wrought fine linen of the house of Ashbea. And Jochem, and the men of Shozeba, and Joash, and Saraph, who had the dominion in Moab, and Jeshua Balaam, and these are ancient things. These were the potters, and those that dwelt among plants and hedges that they dwelt with the king for his work. The sons of Simon were Nemuel and Jamin and Jerib, Zerah and Shalul. Shalum, his son, Mibsah, his son, Mishmah, 
his son. And the sons of Mishma, Hamu, Hamuel, his son, Zakur, his son, Shimei, his son. And Shimea had sixteen sons and six daughters, but his brethren had not many children. Neither did all their family multiply like the children of Judah. And they dwelt at Beersheba and Moladah, and Hazar Shual, and at Bilhal, and at Azam, and at Talad, and at Beth Shual, and at Hormah, and at Ziklag, and at Beth Mar Kabath, and Hazu Susim, and at Beth Beer Ei, and at Sha'araim. These were the cities unto the reign of David. And their villages were Etam, and Aen, Rimmon, and Tubshek, and Ashan, five cities. And all their villages that were round about the same cities unto Baal. These were their inhabitations and their genealogies. Whew. Wow. Here we go. Verse 34. And Meshobab and Jamlech and Joshah, the sons of Amaziah, and Joel and Jehu, the son of Joshi. Josiabah, the son of Sarariah, the son of Asiel, and Eloniah, and Jacobah, and Jeshahiah, and Asahiah, and Adel, and Jesimiel, and Beniah, and Ziza, the son of Shephi, the son of Alilon, the son of Jedidiah, the son of Shimri, the son of Shemaiah. These mentioned by their names were princes in their families, and the house of their fathers increased greatly. And they went to the entrance of Jador, even unto the east side of the valley, to seek pasture for their flocks. And they found fat pasture and good, and the land was wide and quiet and peaceable. For they of the of Ham had dwelt there of old. And these written by name came in the day days of Hezekiah, king of Judah, and smote their tents, and the habitations that were found there, and destroyed them utterly unto this day, and dwelt in their rooms, because there was pasture there for their flocks. And some of them even of the sons of Simon, five hundred men went to Mount Siar, having for their captains Peleliah and Neariah and Rephiah and Uzziel, the son of Eshai. And they smot the rest of the Amalekites that were escaped and dwelt there unto this day. Chapter 5 now the sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, for he was the firstborn, but forasmuch he had defiled his father's bed. His birthright was given unto the sons of Joseph, the son of Israel. And the genealogy is not to be reckoned after the birthright. For Judah prevailed above his brethren, and of him came the chief ruler, but the birthright was Joseph's. The sons, I say, of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, were Hanok, and Palu, Hezron, and Carmi. The sons of Joel, Shemaiah, his son, Gog, his son, Shemaiah, Shemei, Shemei, his son, Micah, his son, Reiah, his son, and Baal, his son. Berah his son, whom Tilgath Tilgath Peneser, king of Assyria, carried away captive. He was prince of the Reb Reubenites. 
and his brethren by their families where the genealogy of their generations was reckoned, where the chief Jael and Zechariah and Bela, the son of Azaz, the son of Shema, the son of Joel, who dwelt in Eror, even unto Nebo and Baal-Meon. And eastward he inhabited unto the entering in the of the wilderness from the river Euphrates, because their cattle were multiplied in the land of Gilead. And in the days of Saul they made war with the Hagarites, who fell by their hand, and they dwelt in their tents throughout all the east land of Gilead. And the children of Gad dwelt over against them in the land of Bashan, unto Salkal, Joel the chief, and Shepham the next, and Jeaniah and Shaphat in Bashan. And their brethren of the house of their fathers were Michael and Meshulam and Sheba and Jariah and Jachan and Ziah and Heber seven. These are the children of Abihel, Abihel, the son of Haruri, the son of Jeriah, the son of Gilead, the son of Michael, the son of Jeshua, the son of Jado, the son of Buzz, Ahai, the son of Abdul, Abdul, Abdul the son of Guni, chief of the house of their fathers. And they dwelt in Gilead, in Bashan, and in her towns, and in all the suburbs of Sharon, upon their borders. All these were reckoned by genealogies in the day of Jotham, king of Judah, and in the days of Jehobam, king of Israel. The sons of Reuben, and the Gadites, and half the tribe of Manasseh, of valiant men, men able to bear buckler and sword and to shoot with a bow and skillful in war, were four and forty thousand seven hundred and three score that went out to the war. Wow, that's a lot of people. Verse 19. And they made war with the Hagarites, with Jetur and Nephish and Nodab, and they were helped against them, and the Hagarites were delivered into their hand, and all that were with them, for they cried to God in the battle, and he was entreated of them, because they put their trust in him. And they took away their cattle, and of their camels fifty thousand, and of two hundred and fifty thousand sheep, and of asses two thousand and men a hundred thousand. Wow, that's a lot. A lot of spoil there. Verse 22. For there fell down many slain, because the war was of God, and they dwelt in their steads until the captivity. And the children of the half-tribe of Manasseh dwelt in the land. They increased from Bashan unto baal Hermon, and Sinur, and unto Mount Hermon. And these were the heads of the house of their fathers, even Ephir, and Ishi, Ishi, and Eliel, and Azareel, and Jeremiah, and Hodavah, and Jahadil, mighty men of valor, famous men, and head of their house of their fathers. And they transgressed against the God of their fathers, and went a whoring after the gods of the people of the land whom God destroyed before them. Back to their old tricks. And the God of Israel stirred up the spirit of Pul, Pul the king of Assyria, and the spirit of Tilgath-Pilneser, Pilneser, king of Assyria. And he carried them away, even the Reubenites and the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, and brought them unto Hala, and Habur, and Hara, Hara, 
and to the river Gozan unto this day. I think we're going to go ahead and we'll stop there and we'll pick up on chapter 6 on Wednesday. There's a lot of names in there, gang. There's a lot of names. And if you can follow along, you'll, you'll find out the history of all those families. I know it's hard to follow along. I know it is. I know it's difficult because I have difficulty with the pronunciation of the names. But if you're reading along, that way you can kind of interpret those names however. That makes it so you can understand it. Um, I know this is a, a long study. And we're going to take it a little bit at a time, and we're just going to make our way through it, and hopefully we all understand what's going on here. If you have any troubles with understanding, if you have any problems with what's going on here, or who's involved, leave me a, a, a comment down there in the comment section. Throw it in the bucket. I'll get it, and we'll look it over. Okay? All right. Um, gang, now's the time. Now is the time. You need to repent. There's so much evil. So much Satanist stuff going on. I was in Sam's Club the other day, and uh, we were getting ready to check out. Me and my son were in Sam's Club on Friday. And the girl that was helping to check us out had this tattoo on her wrist. And there were druid signs on her wrist. I've seen them before. I've seen them in other videos talking about the Druids. So I've seen these before. And I pointed them out to her. I said, uh, do you know what those signs mean? And she said, nah, I had a scar on my wrist and I thought they were cool signs so I had them tattoo them over the scar. I said, you really need to check out what those signs are. You may want to cover that because those are satanic symbols. They're Druid symbols. And she just kind of laughed me off. Her and the girl that were running the check, check stand, they kind of looked at each other like they knew. They knew what they were. These girls are probably Wiccan. They're probably out there worshiping trees and rocks, casting spells, all kinds of things. Because the way they looked at each other, they knew. They knew what those, what those symbols were. So it's really scary. We're seeing a lot of this now coming about. Um, just in society, everybody is so evil. And if you say anything about Christ, or you say God bless to someone, somebody else is going to say something. I had a guy that came walking between me and another guy that were talking at the grocery store the other day. I told him, told the guy that was bagging my groceries, God bless, and he said God bless back to me. And this guy came walking right between us. Everybody wants to bless each other. What are we, in church or something? And I looked at him and I said, well, you know, blessings are a good thing. Everybody needs blessings. And he stomped off. So this is going on everywhere. Take notice of it. Pay attention to what's going on. Look around you. Have eyes to see and ears to hear because it's everywhere. It's all around us. This is why we're under judgment. We're under judgment for our iniquity. What are we studying? What have we already studied? We've shown the children of Israel continually we're worshiping false gods and false idols and giving praise to Baal and same thing. They never learn. So repent. It's time. It's time. Repent with your mouth. Mean it in your heart. Ask for forgiveness for your sins. Ask to be born again. The former relationship with Jesus Christ because the only way to the Father is through the Son. Talk to Jesus about everything and prepare. Get ready. This famine is going to hit us hard. Be ready. If you haven't got your ducks in a row yet, you're behind the ball. Because this is coming fast. I've been watching reports coming out all around the world about famines that are happening, about how crops are being destroyed, huge crops. Corn, rice, wheat are being destroyed. We've had massive fires on the West Coast and across Colorado and 
everywhere else you can imagine, Montana, Idaho, everywhere, there's fires going on, burning up all the land. On the East Coast, we have massive flooding going on, biblical flooding going on. South Carolina, North Carolina, everywhere on the East Coast. Last night, Dallas, Texas, had a flash flood. Six feet of water washed through Dallas, Texas last night. There's video of an entire herd of cattle being washed away. I mean, they were just floating, being washed away. Cows typically have a tendency to try to swim, because they can swim, to reach dry land. But with the current in that water, the way that it was flowing, I bet a lot of those cattle drowned because it was just rushing so fast, it washed them away. And you could hear them mooing. This is going to create a famine, gang. You better be ready. <coughs> Excuse me. And the video that we're getting ready, that I'm getting ready to do for our preparing for judgment is going to have to do with water and the purification of water. Because you can see in North Carolina and South Carolina, their drinking water is done. It's toast for a long, long time. They're not going to have any drinking water because of those coal ash plants that are flooded and all that coal ash that went into the river that's now in um, washing out into the ocean. And you've got pig farms and you've got chicken farms and you've got all kinds of manure and you've got all kinds of chemicals and you've got all kinds of dead bodies and you've got all kinds of stuff contaminating that water. So it's going to be real important that you all pay attention to what we talk about when we talk about water purification because it's going to be really important now. All right? All right, gang, I'm not going to drag this out any longer. Um, it's been a good study. It's hard to read the genealogy, but I'm working through it. Just hang with me, okay? All right. Have a good week. Keep your family close to you and love your neighbors. You're going to need each other. Your neighbors and you are going to need each other because you can't do it alone. You can't. And first and foremost, have Jesus in your life because there again, you can't do it alone. You need Jesus. Everybody does. We all need Jesus. So pray. Have, every, have all this in your prayers. Talk to Jesus about everything. Get ready. It's coming. All right, gang, that's all I got. Y'all have a good week. We'll talk to you on Tuesday. I'll have a video for the prepping. I don't expect to have my grandson, so we'll have a video out on Tuesday, and we'll get things going, and then again, we'll be back into our Bible study on Wednesday. So come on by. Um, for all of our new subs, welcome. I hope that you all in, uh, get something out of the Bible studies and are learning the Word of God. It's important. It's very important that we know the Word of God and that we're in the Word. Get ready, gang. It's coming. All right, gang. We'll talk to you, well, talk to you in a few minutes here when I do the other video. But we'll see you on Tuesday, okay? All right, gang. God bless. Have a good week. We'll talk to you later. Bye.